government recommended that people also don masks elsewhere in the country to halt the spread of the virus nationally. That's according to the New York Times. Fear and those recommendations have led to mask shortages in China and elsewhere, including New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Seattle. Chinese pharmacies are unable to fulfill demand, especially in poorer rural areas, the Times reports. This even as the CDC and the World Health Organization say surgical masks generally don't protect healthy people against the virus, and they say the risk to Americans remains low. Surgical masks do, however, help protect health care workers and may, when worn by sick people, protect against the spread of the bug. Coronavirus is a respiratory illness easily confused with a cold or the flu. It appears to spread person to person the same way the flu does, through coughing, sneezing, or touching an infected person. The right kind of mask worn properly can help contain the germs released with coughs and sneezes. In the U.S., the CDC recommends hand washing is the best prevention against illness and says in America the risk of catching the flu is far higher. Authorities also warn that mask hoarding by healthy people can increase the risk of an outbreak in America if hospital workers can't get the protection they need. Mask shortages are most worrisome in hospitals throughout China, which are overcrowded even at the best of times, the New York Times states. In response, mask producers are asking employees to work overtime. One Chinese manufacturer that typically makes 400,000 masks a day is desperately trying to fulfill orders for 200 million daily, according to Reuters. The company says it has canceled holidays and has promised to quadruple salaries in an effort to close the production gap. Last Tuesday, leading mask maker 3M, better known for Post-its, pledged to produce masks 24 hours a day, seven days a week. CEO Mike Roman told CNBC that Chinese employees would continue to report to work in 3M's factories there. He said 3M workers are also trying to help by donating masks to people in need. 3M rival Honeywell, a $42 billion conglomerate headquartered in North Carolina, is also ramping up mask production in China, Europe, and North America. Both companies said they won't raise prices on their official stores, Reuters reported. Price jacking has been a problem in China and online. There have been reports of people buying and then reselling masks and cleaning supplies at much higher prices. Online vendors in China, including a large one owned by Alibaba, issued warnings to vendors that they would crack down on price gouging. According to Quartz, 3M, China's most popular mask maker, added $1.5 billion to its value between December 30th and January 24th. Honeywell gained $500 million in value over that same period, Quartz reported. Demand has continued to grow since then. 3M had a rough year last year. Sales were down, particularly in China, whose economy has softened. 3M is also fighting lawsuits stemming from its production and disposal of a toxic chemical called PFAS, which has leaked into groundwater in a number of areas throughout the U.S. In 3M's fourth quarter earnings call, CEO Mike Roman promised the coming year would see improvement, but he also announced layoffs of 1,500 people. Mask sales come at a good time for 3M, but no one wants to see corporate earnings improve as the result of an epidemic. At production time, it was unclear when the coronavirus would be contained. We'll be watching.